Welcome back to Krusty Rusty's Restoration. Today, I'm going to try to get this here front clip off so I can get in and get under to fix this cowl area and the eight pillar behind the fender. Also, so we can start measuring for the frame to cut the frame and add the S10 frame on. So let's see if I can get this front clip off. I'm going to try to get it all with the radiator support and the front fenders all in one piece. So that means I might run some tack welds along this body line right here because the mounting bolts are kind of not the best at the moment because they rusted out from age. So I'll pop the hood off, maybe run some tacks along there. Cut the bolts back here because they're going to break off anyway and I have to make new mounting holes and new mounts anyway. And then hopefully just pull this whole nose right off. Let's get to it.
was the main reason for pulling off the front end. The cowl rot up under here. I have to repair and rebuild the A-pillar right here, which I started in that rocker that you saw a couple weeks ago. But I have to get all up inside there with new steel and cre recreate that whole structure. And then do something in here so that the hinges can have a solid place to mount to on the bottom. And then, of course, I got to re-drill all these holes that the bolts broke off in and all that fun stuff. All right, now that we got this front clip off, you can see the extent of the rot damage on these front fenders. There used to be a lip right here that went all the way around for the fender to bolt to the side of the cowl, like down here. That would go all the way up and around, but that rotted off. So I have to redo all of that. Uh, redo that brace down there. Same for this side. Remake most of that meeting up down here somewhere. All of this needs to be redone. Have to redo this. That'll be fun. It's like the same as over here though. Not too bad, I'll figure it out. Alright, so I need to rebuild this inner edge right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cardboard and tape it right along here and then run a sharpie along this line all the way down so I can get the shape and then I'll just cut an inch and a half of that shape for this inner edge so I can build this inner edge all the way from here down to here get that in and then I can start building this top part once I have that whole edge where I need it to be that template made up so this will go right here so you can see it pretty much has that same curve obviously I left a little bit extra so I can trim it and make it fit perfectly that'll come right down here and give us that edge back with those mounting holes along here so obviously I'll have to do some cutting and shaping especially down the bottom here I don't know if you can see down there yep right here down the bottom you see it's got this curve this well in so I have to do some more trimming and shaping down here to get that correct but once I get that angle I'll weld it in down here I'll probably cut this right here because that's what's left of the actual edge that's supposed to be there right up here that's the edge that's supposed to be here so I'm gonna cut it right here and then weld it down the bottom do a couple of tacks right here because that give us that gives us the amount out it's supposed to be from this area that's all gone and then I'll probably tack it up here where it meets where the hood starts going in because that's another area that's still it's still there it's not great it's not strong but it gives us the roundabout area where that piece needs to be and then I'll weld that weld that and then I'll get to this whole missing area right here after that but hopefully this template should work for the other side too. Um, it should fit. It should work because they have the same curvature and everything. So that, that other side has a little bit more of this meat left on it. So I'll probably make the whole thing anyway. But we'll go from there. So let's get cutting.
gonna go ahead and trim this off right here, right at the very edge. So we can know exactly where it goes. Probably gonna go all the way down to here. And then this piece that you just saw me cut, I always have to bend that bottom piece to get that angle correct. But that piece will go in there. And give us a nice new strong edge. So now that this is on there and it's welded up to pretty much where it's the most solid it could be, that's on there real good. Welded all the way up. You can still see this is still floppy up here. But the plan is, I'm not gonna cut this out because I kind of like the jagged look. It is gonna be kind of ratty, a kind of ratty van. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from here all the way down to here underneath this i'm gonna lay it up under it put a couple of tacks along this jagged edge just to give it a little strength and look interesting and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come in here where every one of these sharpie marks is and i'm gonna drill a hole and what that's gonna let me do is that's gonna let me sink a plug weld through the good steel away from that edge into the sheet underneath and then I can grind away the plug weld and grind it smooth with the top of this fender and then let it rust out to the elements so it matches. And then I'll just hard weld all this all the way down to the new panel up underneath here. This will still look cool. Panel underneath, I will, I will treat it so that it won't rust jack between the lower panel and the fender panel. And... And hopefully I'll just let the top side rust up to kind of match this here. So, that's the plan. I'm going to get to cutting some steel.
so here's where we're at. Got that edge all the way down. And I'm really liking how this turned out. Now, obviously, this wouldn't be the right way to do it if you were putting body filler on it and everything. But for a ratty truck, a ratty van, I smoothed all the welds. You can still see some of the marks and everything, but I like it. I really like it. It looks cool. And I did treat the metal underneath. So it should hold up for a while. I'm not taking it out in the winter, so it's not going to see salt or anything. And that's it's going to have a pretty easy life. Driving spring and summer. Because it'll have that new engine so I can drive it whenever I want. But no snow. It'll never see snow or salt again. But yeah. Got a full full area now where I can drill mounting holes and then mount it back where it's supposed to be and it's solid again now I don't really know how what what they were doing up here if this attached to the inner fender somehow or or how that worked because all this was gone if you remember it was all that but now it has inner structure and underneath structure and there's a couple tacks in here and like I said I went back and I plug welded all of the spots and then I ground those plug welds smooth so it's nice and round no dents no warps no nothing pretty solid there is some thin metal down here but I think I'm just gonna leave that for now if I need to I'll pop it back off because it's going to be able to come on and off easy enough. So. Yeah, that's this side. I don't know if I'll get to the next side in this video or the next video. This took me pretty much all day to do this one. So.
so I got this side done and then I masked this off and painted the whole raw steel area with uh, a mix of paint and primer so that's not gonna rust now but I want this to rust up nice to match this so I'm gonna leave it out just let it do its thing as you saw I did the same over here with the new steel underneath welded it up with the new steel over here same back here I did a little patch and I just finished painting the raw steel that's there so these are both done for the most part till I put it back onto the van and then mark where I'm cutting the holes out or drilling the holes out for the mounting bolts but it's still ratty it's got those patches and I left a lot of the welds spot welds and stuff but it's solid and the fender will be held in place properly now so next video we'll probably be working on the cowl where it mounts up over here all this has to be rebuilt so that'll probably be the next video on the van rebuilding all this or maybe working on the doors or something so yeah stay tuned